Yo, what's going on guys? We have some awesome new Koro Koro leaks here. They leaked really, really late this time, but there has been some amazing stuff. We have four new Pokemon. Uh, the evil team is now confirmed, and we even got two Alola form Pokemon. Like, holy crap. All right, so let's jump right into this. Uh, first up, we have a Sandcastle Pokemon called Sunuba. Sunuba? I don't know. These names aren't translated, by the way. Some of them might change. Some of them uh, might stay the same. But, yeah, let's go ahead and look at this Pokemon. So the, the younger form is called Sanuba. Sanuba. I don't know how to say it, but I like it, man. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's actually a grass ground type Pokemon, so it's kind of a unique typing, I guess. I mean, we've, we've seen a couple grass grounds, I believe. Uh, but we got another one here. And then it's evolved form, which it evolves into. Let me get this name. It's Shir... I, I don't want to mispronounce it, by the way. That's why I'm literally reading this off. Shiru Desuna. Shiru Desuna. That one's definitely going to be translated. Like, that. there's no way that thing's staying. Uh, so yeah, Shiro Desuna is the evolved form of it, and I kind of like these Pokemon, honestly. I know that they're going to get a lot of shade, and I know that they're going to get a lot of hate, but I think they're freaking adorable. Like, it's so freaking cute. Uh, I'll probably, I don't know, I probably won't use it, but I definitely like it. I don't think there's been a Pokemon release that I haven't, uh, I haven't liked. I like all of them, honestly, and you can see this freaking Pikachu is literally getting swallowed whole uh, by... Shiru Desuna, man. There's like a bunch of them swallowing it whole, but I don't know, man. What I expect with this Pokemon, uh, I don't know if it's going to get a new ability or anything like that. There's been nothing said as far as abilities go, but I'm assuming this is going to be like a Grimer clone or like a Gardober, you know what I mean? Like a bulky, uh, kind of a stally Pokemon, which I don't mind, man. I think it's really important to have a few bulky Pokemon on the team, but I don't... I don't know if it's my favorite Pokemon, but it's pretty adorable. And uh, next up here, we have Beware's uh, pre-evolution here. It keeps the same uh, typing and it keeps the same ability. Uh, what's this thing called, man? It has another Japanese name. Yeah, it's Nui Koguma. I have no idea what that even means. So Nui Koguma. Uh, I figured this thing had either an evolution or a pre-evolution. You never really know, honestly. But uh, I'm kind of surprised that Beware is a fully evolved Pokemon. It just doesn't seem like a fully evolved Pokemon to me. Maybe we'll see another evolution coming soon. But this Pokemon, honestly, is, is pretty adorable. I might be sold on this Pokemon just from its pre-evo. It is so freaking cute. Holy crap. And again, it keeps the same ability. It keeps the same typing. So it's, it's going to be a pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, so that's two of the Pokemon that we got and now we're moving on to the the fish Pokemon I gotta read this one again because I cannot pronounce his name. This one's Yowashi the fish Pokemon Ooh, It's a water type Pokemon and appears to have the ability to change its appearance from its single form into a larger fish Huh, so it's not really like an evolution. I don't I don't really know with this Pokemon. It's kind of confusing So here it is. It's just this little little tiny fish and I think it just transforms somehow into the school of fish. I don't know how it happens uh, or what you have to do. Maybe there's some like kind of mechanic where you go deep underwater. Like maybe they have dive or something like that. Uh, or maybe if you catch a bunch of them, it like merges into one. I don't know. It, it doesn't look like an evolution and it keeps the same name. So it wouldn't really make sense. But I really like this mechanic to be completely honest. It's like... It's something really new and something really fresh, especially if it stays the same Pokemon, and I could just imagine it getting a lot bulkier. So, it might be a Pokemon that I pick up. I think, honestly, that it'll, re it'll uh, receive a unique ability. Just because it would make sense for it to have some, like, school form ability where it, like, attacks multiple times or something like that. Or, like, um... I don't know, man. It just seems like it might get its own unique ability because it just is so unique. It's something that we've never seen before. So I don't know. Maybe it'll be gimmicky like uh, I think it's Malamar where you have to turn the 3DS upside down to evolve it. Maybe this is like you have to have like 30 or 50 of these Pokemon. Definitely not that many, but uh, maybe you have to catch like a full party and it turns into a school. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it's just an ability. It could be. Yo, okay. That's another thing. It could just be an ability, but... Uh, either way, I really like the Pokemon, man. I think it's unique how it's a bunch of them, like, combined together, and that's what makes it. Like, that's so cool. I, I, I like that idea. And uh, that's all for the new Pokemon that we've got, but we have two new Alola forms, and, and they are pretty freaking amazing. Uh, so first up, we have Meowth. I don't know if this thing gets any kind of uh, ability or different kind of ability. All that's confirmed is its typing, which is Dark-type. 
and honestly, I mean, it's just a Meowth, so it's not that exciting. Like, it's kind of cool that it's a different Meowth, but honestly, I'm more excited to see the Persian. Like, I'm expecting, I'm fully expecting uh, for there to be a Persian. I don't know if they're going to do that or how that works because we also have Executor, which doesn't have an Alolan form with its pre-evo, which is kind of weird to me, honestly. Like, why would you give one Pokemon a pre-evo or uh, an Alolan form, but not its pre-evolution? I don't know. I don't know if we'll see a, uh, a dark type Persian. I'm assuming so since it is the first in the in the evolutionary line. Like it would be so weird if it wasn't a dark type, but I don't know, man. It might be pretty good. Hopefully it gets another move pour or some other moves because honestly, Persian's kind of weak. No offense, but I I'm hoping it gets more of a revamp, I guess. And so let's move on to the next Pokemon, Marowak. Holy crap. Marowak looks so good. So it was already like 99% confirmed that this Pokemon would get a fire type um, Alolan form just based off of the Pokemon website they had on there that the guy was a fire type user or the fire type user had a, a Marowak uh, or something along those lines. But I didn't expect the ghost. So Marowak turns into a ghost fire Pokemon, which that's pretty freaking amazing. Honestly, the only other ghost fire type Pokemon we have is Chandelure and uh, or Chandelier, I don't know how you say it, honestly. And I really like that Pokemon, honestly. It's an insanely strong special attacker, but I'm assuming that Marowak is going to be more of a physical attacker, which is going to be so freaking cool. Like, I, I, I hope they give this guy a really good move pull. Like, I want to see him get Shadow Punch. I want to see him get uh, some physical attacking ghost moves, and I want to see him get Flare Blitz. Like, oh my god, Marowak, I might use it. I think I might just have a team of Alolan Pokemon. I love the Alolan Pokemon so much. And then we see, uh, I guess, Executor getting confirmed again. I don't know why he's on here, but yo, this Koro Koro leaked so late, and I saw everybody jumping in on this, like, making uh, episodes. So I had to sit back and I had to wait. Uh, but we've actually got another screen here. It's Rough, Rough Rock, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, he actually gets a secret evolution. They don't confirm it. They don't give anything about it, which is, it kind of sucks. They just say that he gets a secret evolution. But below that, holy crap, we have the most lit Pokemon team of all time. We finally get the evil team. Everybody was wondering, everybody was asking, are we going to see an evil team? And it looks like we've got them. I got to get their names 100% right. So let me, let me just read this off. All right. So we get the antagonist team. Yeah, it's called Team Skull, which is like, yo, huge throwback to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I don't know if you guys played that, but there was a Team Skull there. And its boss is called Guzma, and uh, the girl is called Plumiri. I don't know if those will be translated, honestly. I mean, they might be, they might not. They're pretty easy to, pro uh, to pronounce, but they'll probably end up translating those names. And uh, so yeah, we get the new evil team, Team Skull. Like, holy crap, these guys look amazing. I don't know what kind of Pokemon they'll use, honestly. They could use a bunch of Alolan forms, they could use a whole bunch of stuff, but honestly, I'm expecting a lot of dark types from these guys, because they're all dressed in really, really dark type, uh, dark apparel and stuff like that, but usually, I don't know if you guys have noticed this pattern, but usually the enemy team has some kind of tie-in uh, with the legendary Pokemon. Uh, for instance, uh, I think it's uh, Team Magma and Team Aqua, they have a tie-in with uh, Groudon and Kyogre, right? Because they're Magma and Aqua, which is, you know, Earth and Water. And then you get Groudon, which is like controller of the Earth, and then uh, Kyogre, which is the Water. And then Team Galactic, right? Which they controlled, uh, what was it, man? They it, it was Palkia, Dialga, and Giratina, which was all about space and all about... Uh, that kind of stuff. And then next we have, what is it? Team Plasma? I, I don't know. I guess it's Fusion, which is like, they, they did the Kiram, Black Kiram, and White Kiram that was like DNA Fusion or whatever. So I can see how that's Plasma. So I don't know if Team Skull is going to tie into a legendary Pokemon. There's probably, I mean, there's definitely going to be a third legendary completing the trio. Like that's just for sure. That's going to happen. So maybe they'll have some kind of tie-in with that Pokemon. I mean, who knows, honestly. Or, I, I don't know if they're going to tie it back into Kalos with the Mega Evolution or anything like that. Like, there's still so many questions left, honestly, because we don't know if there's going to be Mega Evolution still. We don't know uh, what they're doing with that. We don't know if they're going to bring back Kalos, because I know Zygarde is supposed to be a huge deal in this game or a huge part of it. But honestly, they haven't mentioned uh, too much about it. So there's still a lot of questions up in the air. 
And uh, lastly, we have this little screenshot here. It shows how the battle animation or the, the exclamation point. We've already seen that, honestly, though, in some uh, some gameplay footage. So it's just some, like, backwashed uh, materials. And then there's some other stuff here in this left corner, which you can't even really make out what it is, unfortunately. But, yo, these Koro Koro scans gotta say they're uh they're they're pretty lit i don't know about you guys but i'm so freaking excited about this game uh so if you're excited about this game go ahead and hit that like button down below man because i am pumped you're pumped and honestly supporting this video it, it helps the channel out so much and it means so much to me man uh i'm also going to be doing a sun and moon let's play so stick around for that boys but uh anyway guys thank you so much for watching and supporting this video it means so much to me guys Thank you again. I will see you all next time.